Mark Pesci. I will be here with you all day today, guiding you through what I think is probably one of the best IoT programs I have ever seen anywhere. And it is indeed a great honor to be here to open the Everything of the Internet of Things uh, Leadership Summit as part of the Spark Festival. And can I congratulate all the organizers in putting this together. It's, a, it's really important here in New South Wales and in particular in Sydney that uh, we bring all of these key elements together. We are very, very pleased to see you all here and uh, to welcome you to the Everything IoT Global Leadership Summit 2016. IoT is going to change the world, not in 50 years, not in 25 years, but in five years. The future is here. Listen, I reckon you can't undercall the value of having people coming together, of getting people from different places in the industry, in the ecosystem, in the business to come together and share what they're working on, what their new ideas are, what they're building, and to get inspired, and frankly to kind of question each other's work. I think there's some real value in doing all of that. Well, it's great for New South Wales because you get all the, the great uh, components in, in the one space. So you get private sector, the government sector, you get the entrepreneurs, you get the academics here, you get the mentors, the investors. And when you get that dynamic ecosystem, then you're going to produce great outcomes. This is why events like Everything IoT are so important, because it facilitates discussion, it facilitates collaboration and exploration on how we can create value in society. At the moment, we're probably very early doors. We're very early stage. We're at the edge of the hockey curve, if you like. So we've been talking about IoT for a really long time. We've even speculated about how many IoT things there would be. 50 billion is the number that gets thrown around a lot, which is a big number. But frankly, I think we're just starting to see what it might do to the economy, where it's going to improve productivity, where you'll see efficiency gains, but also where it's going to make new things possible. New sorts of knowledge will get created, new kinds of experiences. And frankly, I think we just don't really even begin to know what that is going to look like. So in some ways, it's still very green field. It's lots of potential and promise. Well, I really don't think we truly understand the enormity of the impact that we're about to see in relation to the IoT. I've just, I was there at the first speaker and she was fantastic, uh, tracking the animals and the internet of living things. This is really exciting and in New South Wales and in particular in Sydney we get an opportunity to seize the moment by bringing all the components together. So I think the biggest thing we're going to see with IoT moving beyond connected devices is it's going to lead to the rise of smart devices, smart machines. Um, this, is, this is really links into the things that IBM would call cognitive, right? where machines can sense and respond, can understand, can reason and can learn at scale to, to, to do things that we don't necessarily will have to involve ourselves with anymore. I mean, you know, things like, you know, smart microwave ovens or smart, you know, washing machines uh, will change, it will make our lives simpler, but also result in less wastage some more efficiency. So I do think that you know, where IoT is heading is to make society more efficient, you know, more sustainable, better for the environment, and for us, easier life. I want to thank everybody that stays and, and been in the whole day. It was a long day. Uh, I feel we, 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 we achieved quite a lot. We had a fantastic keynote in the mornings. We had great startups and, uh, and teams pitching here. I want to thank, thank our sponsors uh, one more time, particularly to uh, Commonwealth Bank and KPMG, our main sponsors, and to Microsoft, Intel, uh, Telstra, Blue Chile. Blue Chile really supported us uh, this year uh, with a lot of help. So thanks, Seb, still here. Uh, Amazon Web Services, UTS, supported last year and this year, Data61, uh, Alex Group, and, uh, and uh, Stuart from uh, Timpani. So thanks again and uh, we'll see you next year.